the four P's of love. P. Love is the greatest of all spiritual virtues. Out of four of them, the first one I will I'll take it to God, the three will be for us. I'm fully Matthew 6.33, so the first P will be centered at God, but the rest three will be centered at man. Love is the greatest of all spiritual virtues. In 1 Corinthians 13 and 13, the Bible said, and now these three remain, the NIV. It's a hope and love, but the greatest of these is love. It's the greatest spiritual asset of a believer. Many times people say, I love you. But they don't really know the meaning of love. Love is a person. <laughs> I know even this, today you have told many, I love you. Love is not feelings, love is a person. And love is God himself. He said, God is love. First John 4, 8. When you master love, you have mastered life. Love is continuous. Love that stops was not love in the first place. The first P of love is, number one, love pursues. Love does what? Love pursues. The first proof of love, is love pursues. God loved us and he went after us. So go all out for God because he went after you and I first. If you're in love with God, you will tell the entire world. Did you hear what I said? If you're in love with God, you will tell the entire world. He said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all the heart, with all thy soul, with all the mind. For this is the first commandment. As I said, the first one will be towards God. Then the rest today will be for us. If I say I love, then I must first and foremost go all out for God. There is no love if God is not involved at the center of your love. He so said, You shall love him with all, for this is the first what? Commandment. The second I like unto it. So I gave the first number one to him love thy neighbor as thyself. But that will be number two. He must confess. Any love that does not put God first is fake. If you're in love with God, I said the entire world worth. And whatever you love will reveal its secrets to you. Even in the natural, when you love somebody, the person will tell you secrets. When you love God, he reveals himself to you. So go after what you love. Let me say this to you. If you ever find true love, do not let it go. That is never let God go. Because it's the true love. True love is to love what the person loves. So anything God loves, love it. Whatever God loves, love it. That is the first love. That's what? The first love. For instance, God loves soul winning. So love soul. As a youth now, you couldn't have come alone. You would have carried one soul to come with you. What you love, you cannot ignore. And you will lose whatever you refuse to love. Unspoken love is no love. You can't say you love God and nobody knows about God through you. Then that's not love. That's not what? No love. Now I'm done with God. I come to us now. 
So the first, I laid that foundation because that must be in any love that is not centered on God is nonsense love. So that he takes the first place. Then he now said, love thy neighbor as thyself. Is that clear, sir? Number two, P, love protects. Love does what? Love protects. Who you love, you protect. <laughs> love is aggressive to protect. The proof of love is in his swiftness to forgive. And who you choose to love, God will empower you to understand. The moment you choose to love someone, he will empower you to what? Understand the person. Threat is the assassin of love. Let me explain what I mean. You can't threaten who you love. It's an assassin of what? Love. Who you love, you cover their weakness. Now, many people read this scripture and understand when they say love, cover it a multitude of sin does not mean that when you see they don't say that's not what the Bible says. Listen carefully. When you love someone, and somebody comes around to say anything, even when the person is wrong, you will protect the person first and then come back home and say, you know what? You are wrong. Now, I'm not saying it. Come to my front and tell me about my wife. Even if you are right, I won't agree. I'll tell you that's, forget that matter. You will even say it in the first place. So I won't allow you to say it. So there's no point. I won't allow you. You will even talk. Before you land, that's enough. Your own wife does you know her problem. Anyone, you can't speak about who you love. You protect. Love protects. Love does what? Love protects. If you see a woman sitting down to discuss her husband, she does not understand love. And if you see a man discussing negatively, that's what I mean. You don't understand. Love does what? Your wife does not know how to cook. You say, Is that your business? I don't want eating my food. That's what you say first. You protect the person. Are you getting what I'm saying? Love does what? Protects. You can never share the weakness of who you love. Enemies expose your weakness. Lovers cover your weakness. Are you hearing me? When you truly love, you protect. You just cover that person. She doesn't know how to cook. You will know every way you will do for her to learn how to cook. They told me of a life story of a woman who does not know how to cook, but the husband cooks very well. Life story. The woman does not know how to cook, but the, the, the man is a very good cook. So what he does, when people want to come, he will prepare the food and ask her to serve. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Only their children knew. He will cook the food and tell her to serve. No outsider knows that she doesn't know how to cook well. And when they call, they say the food is very sweet. But it's only the children that knew that their father is the one who knows how to cook very well. But if some people, since I married your mother, <laughs> she doesn't even know how to cook. I'm the one who cook for her now. Ask her. It never understood love. Love protects. If anybody who exposes anyone who he loves, they don't understand the meaning of love. Mm? Then number three, love pleasures. Love does what? That's a third P. Number one, love pursues. Number two, love protects. Number three, love pleasures. 
If you truly love, you want to see the person, you will never want to see the person go through pains. Never want to. Love never ignores your pain. Love is the ability to design someone's pain. Whatever will cause the person pain, you want to take it off the person. That's what love is. Love is when you greatly value what is important to another. Simply, it is the passion to pleasure another. It is what? You want to package the person in such a way that the person will never go through stress. You know, if you just preach the gospel and you don't, there are things sometimes we will share them. I've, I've, I was saying, I was talking about, sometimes it's good for you not to preach love. I practice love. I'll take permission from my wife for the first time. Love, pleasures. Love, all what? Pleasures. I'll take permission from her. They have a house, a family house. She's no more there. She's my wife now, so she does not belong to that family anymore. She belongs to, to my family. It's David and PCB on your family. But every time we go to their place, I discover that she doesn't like the house anymore because it's a bit disgusting. It's an old, the father's house. It doesn't fit modern time. I just looked at her and I see that it gives her pain when she looks at the house. I didn't ask her a question. I just said, for your bed, I'll give you a gift. <laughs> now, listen. I stopped there. I won't go beyond there. Are you going to say now? I saw that was her own pain. That was her own what? Unspoken pain. She didn't say it. She never asked me. Who you love, you know what pains the person. Both male and female. You pleasure what pains the person. It's a passion to pleasure. Are you getting what I'm saying? That is what love is. Manipulated love is not love at all. When you love, you pleasure the person. You look at the person. You will not cause the person pains. Whoever causes you pains never loved you. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Love will make sure the person takes pain away from you. That's true love. Love is the passion to pleasure. Jesus speaking, God speaking said, at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So whatever gives the person pleasure, you take it off to give the person pleasure. Are you getting what I'm saying? Spiritually, you would think that when I'm fasting, okay, because I'm fasting, I told you one night of glory, I will go downstairs when they are praying, when they are sleeping. There is no way I will sleep and not check on hand, David. No matter how spiritually you think I am. I must go downstairs. I turn off the AC for them. There's a place where they put AC so around 2 a.m. I will go down. I must open the door, turn it off. Even when she's sleeping, open it and check them as they sleep. Because the heat is their pressure. My duty is to give them pleasure, even when I'm fasting. Do you understand? Focus on removing the pain of someone. Focus on what? Let me say this to you. When you truly love someone, you wouldn't allow the person to go through pains or pressure. Anything that will make the person go through pains and regret, you wouldn't allow it. 
Love is not God knows I love you. There are practical things to demonstrate love. Whatever we give the person pain, you will do everything possible never to make it happen. You will want to remove the pain of someone because what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. May God make this happen for you. When it takes pains away from others, God takes away your own pains. And when you cause pain for people, never make someone cry in your life. Are you hearing me? Where somebody still like this and regret to start crying. It's not a, that's not love. That's not what? Love. Whom you love, you protect. Whom you love, you pleasure. You take away pressure. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. How many will take away pressure from someone? Does your husband come home and regret that you are home? Does your wife come back and regret that you married her? I wish that if she was not married, that she would have been single. That is pressure. Maybe because of how we are preaching, they say, well, let me just stay inside. But every day she remembers and says, hey, this is hell on earth. That is not love. Are you getting me? Finally, number four. I told you the message will be short. Are you getting blessed today? Love provides. Love does what? Number one, P, love pursues. Number two, love protects. Number three, love pleasures. Number four, love provides. Shout a better amen. amen. You can't love without giving. The proof of love is to give and invest. You don't struggle to give to who you love. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't what? Struggle to give to who you love. My wife was with me yesterday. I'll take an excuse, whatever. And I saw that she has a nephew she loves. Body language of a woman, you know who she person loves. She has a nephew and she loves a lot. Is he hearing me because he's in church? Not here. And she just made a statement in passing. In passing. I didn't tell her. I never, I never told her. Maybe the, my driver would tell her. Me, I didn't tell her. There are things I do, I don't tell her. So I got the Corolla. Give it to me, clean Corolla. I said, repair it, put it very well. I said, give it to him. I didn't tell her today that I've given the young man Corolla. The Corolla is in the compound. I said, carry it and give him clean Corolla. I said, give it to him. Because love provides. Even if I don't do it, she will be looking for money to buy for him. So why will I have it and not give to the one she wants to buy? Do you understand what I'm saying? No? <laughs> love provides. Love does what? Provides. Listen. Your giving is your love in action. Your giving is your what? If you struggle to give, now people will say, why are we giving Papa something? Don't bother them. They never love me. You know, when my birthday comes, people get angry. Even if their members don't bother. The truth is, they never love me. You don't struggle to give to who you love. When some people get angry, when people say they want to honor Papa, they say, for what? Every time, Papa, buy the birthday, birthday. Don't worry. The truth is not that they're giving. The problem is they never. Who you love, you don't struggle to give. It's not because you don't have. It's because you don't love. For God so loved the world. Did he struggle to give? He gave his best. He never struggled. If your husband finds it difficult to give you something, he never loved you. And if your wife finds it difficult, you have to beg her to give you something. She doesn't love you. Maybe you have money. She just came to marry you. Through love is a giving love. Through love is what? It provides. It's right here. Hmm? 
Let me say this to you. Love is desiring to give more than you desire to receive. When you love, you desire to give more than you can receive. Every time you want to receive from the person, it's not love. When you love, you want to be given to the person more than you desire to receive from the person. And when you love, you give your best. When you love, what do you do? You give your best. For God so loved the world, he gave his best. When you love, you give your best. They don't need to ask you. I've never done anything with my wife that she asked me to front her mouth. No. I just look at her and say, I think this thing is, I don't do it. She didn't ask me for what I did. She didn't ask me for a nephew, uh, nephew. She didn't ask me. Are you going to have now? That is what love is. One is to preach love. Two is to live love. When they were trying to prepare, I said, well, somebody should preach. They said, sir, <laughs> if it is topical, nobody. I asked the youth pastor, I said, no, no, I'll call your pastors. I'm, I'll preach. This is your day. They said, if it's this topical, even if you stand like this and say love, we we'll see it in you. I don't preach love, I live love. I'm an embodiment of love. Is that clear? And let me say this to you. Love is not for one day. Everyone has something to give. Everybody has what? Love shouldn't be for just a day. It should be a lifestyle and for a lifetime. Don't make February 14 the only love day. Make your life a love life. Let every day be February 14. <laughs> Let it be a Christmas every day. Live love. Live what? As a life Style. Love pursues. What you love, you pursue. What you love, you protect. If anybody ever carried your weakness outside, never loved you. I'm telling you today, if, any, if anybody gossips you outside, stay away from that person. Whoever gossips you, never loves you. Never, no matter how the person does, say, please forgive me. Just quiet and run away. Those who you love, you protect. You think if I give ears, people will not talk about my wife? There's no person without fault. Some people can say, look, the way mama sees that, I say, I don't like it. Even mamas are very funny. As if they the way they see, they don't have a problem. Everybody has a what? If you want to find fault, you can find fault. But when you love somebody, you don't find fault. I don't see any fault though. So that when they say, the last do one, do and charm, no charm. All those things are nonsense. When someone loves people, they will say, the best do a charm. No charm. Some men, you are thinking that they are charm. Yes, people do charm in the wrong way, but there are people who just love the people, their husband and wife. No charm. But when you love somebody, you don't see fault. You don't see what? Do you know if you don't love somebody, even the way the person eats will irritate you? It's every time you make it. <laughs> but who you love, you don't even know how the person is. There are people I love in my life. My wife, you know, the you, there are people I just love. You can't, there's no, if you like, it's your own. You can talk to your own, that's your own business. Who you love, you pursue. Who you love, you protect. Who you love, you pleasure. And who you love, you provide. Shout hallelujah. Rise to your feet. <laughs> So, after now, you have to look for a gift. Give to anybody. You don't have to know the person. And say, Dad, I just love you. With a right motive, not wrong motive. <laughs> motive must be right. So, don't go. <laughs> don't go and give one yellow CC like that and say, As I love you today. <laughs> well, if it's for a good motive and that today, today you can... You can love her for today and then tell her the thing you had. No problem. It's allowed for today. 
So I, <laughs> make sure you look the finger very well. That's why I tell married women, be wearing ring. And you were not married, no wearing ring because you confuse people. You are not married, do not put the ring on your hand. The man look, you finish. Nobody has asked time to look whether here or here. You remove the ring for now. So when you look at your finger, no ring. Because sometimes the ring you're wearing can confuse them. They don't have time to look whether it's on the center or this one. Just leave your hand free for now. Leave your hands. That's the easiest way. But the man cannot come out and say, are you married? It's not the best way. So your ring, your ring should first send a message. I asked a young man in this church. He has three children. And I said, come, where's your wife? You know, Mary. He said, he has three children. I said, I've never seen you with a ring. He was shocked. I said, he said, I have three children. I said, no, no, no. I've never seen you with a ring. That, mean, that is as a pastor. I said, where's, you want to marry? He said, I'm married though. I said, now, nah, why don't you wear a ring? So both men too, we are married. We are ring now. I get another tip agenda. <laughs> if you're married, wear what? Ring. So that's the first thing to show that you are married. When the hand is bare, you have sent a signal that I'm free for anybody to come. So all of you whose hands are free. Anybody will come today, no problem. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Well, you know what will happen? When I'm done praying for you and make a to call, I will allow us, that's the last set of the meeting, will allow us, will not rush. You will carry your gift and give somebody. You will carry your gift and go back. You must give somebody. If you carry 10, you are free to give the people you like as you are led. Is that true? For God so loved the world, you too must give somebody a gift. Hmm? Somebody a gift. It's more blessed. But hear this. How many of you got what I said? You got what I said? Love pushes. Love protects. Love pleasures. And love provides. Look at your life. Are you following those four proofs of love? Who you love, you can forgive. On pleasure, you easily forgive who you love. When you love somebody, forgiveness is just simple. I don't struggle. I'm not kidding. Once you tell me sorry, that's the end. I won't talk again. I don't matter how that bad that situation. I'll keep quiet. But I say sorry. Sorry, sorry, somebody struggled to forgive you. People don't understand love. I have deep revelation of love. I'm sorry. Even if I want to get very, I just, how can I tell you sorry? For instance, your husband is telling you sorry. Please, sorry now, my wife. Sorry now. You say, no. <laughs> love is not there. Because the moment it turns, I look at you and say, my wife, I'm sorry. Even if you want to bust, you say, okay. Because of love. This thing we are saying love, eh? people think love is, love is not mechanical. Love is not February 14th. Love is a person. Are you getting what I'm saying? So let every day be February Are you going to demonstrate love? Lift your right hand and say, Father, I want to walk in love. Let it become my lifestyle. Give me a revelation of true love. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Give me a revelation of true love. Lord, I have a, I pray for a revelation. Deeper inside on through love. La presu zekutale. Toro zakota bregedia kushanto bradia kedei. Blessed be God forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the love 
which you have heard today work in your life. Amen. But hear this, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. You can't say you love and you don't want to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Thank God for all the comedies. Thank God for all the funds. But you must have a relationship with Jesus. Wherever you are in any part of the world and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I want you to give your life to Jesus. That's the beginning of true love. Pray this prayer after me. The first love is to pursue God. It's a who? Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. With my mouth, I declare you my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. Now, if you pray that prayer while others keep standing, so while others sit down, you keep standing just for 30 seconds. Don't sit with them so somebody can attend to you. If you pray that prayer, amen. God bless you, attend to them. Next time we have such a youth program, make sure you invite your friends. Invite your what? Who are in the world, let them come. And then you can even buy them a gift. I got now for next time. I give to them. Praise the Lord. That is one of the ways to win sinners. So this program is actually a soul winning program. God bless you. Now we are going to. I'll pray for you, and then we take some light music, and then you go around and give somebody a gift. Listen, nobody should go away. We are in a spiritual environment, so we are not committing sin. For God so loved the world. So giving somebody a gift is not a sin. And when they give you a gift, what do you say? Thank you. You may have 10 gifts and randomly give to 10 people, so nobody should rush. Are you, I'm not rushing. You to don't rush. We all give gifts. We all collect gifts. I will not... Make sure you give somebody what? A gift. My wife gave me a gift. She gave me a check of seven figures. Yes, and I collected it. Hold somebody. Tell him that you love him. Lift your hands together and pray. Everybody. Somebody. Now, so, you know what you do? Make sure something from you gets to, if it's your wife, give her a gift. Your husband, give him. You can give even your pastor in your branch a gift. It's a door of love. It's a door of what? Show, demonstrate love. Love provides. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, show somebody love. Give to somebody. That may be the least, the small thing to show appreciation for what God has done in your life. Shall we rise? Let me pray for you. Who? <laughs> God bless the Lord. You're all looking very, very take away. <laughs> looking very, very what? You know, I went to Milan, Italy, and one evil man saw me and I said, Pastor, Pastor, you are looking take away. I said, this kind of, uh, you know, when Igbo man, whether he's in America anywhere, he's the one name, no. <laughs> you are looking, take away. Yeah, I said, in Italy, but it didn't change. He said, Pastor, you are looking, take away. That was where I heard that language first, in Italy, Milan. He said, Pastor, you are looking, take away. I said, ah. So some of you are looking, take away. Just take you away. <laughs> If any young man does not find wife today, you will tell me where you want to find wife. Find wife in the house of God. Where you want to find wife now? For your village? Don't go to your village to find wife. Oh. You will see village problem and run. Today, that girl you are afraid. Listen, listen. I told you how you would do it. This is the easiest way. Listen. That girl you are afraid to talk to. This is the simplest way. Go straight. Say, so I have this gift for you. 
she will get the message. <laughs> if truly you are the one, you want, don't friendship, oh, genuine relationship for marriage. And you, you know, some men are shy. Some men are, don't, some men are not bold, though. They say, if I go, what I, this girl go agree. Their mom walk to her and say, this gift. I pray for. She will know what you are passing. I say, this gift. Can I, on Thursday, when I come to church, can I see you? Inside church. She will just get the message that you're coming somewhere. And if you say, yes, don't open. <laughs> Conversation has started. The way you come Sunday, they say, you know what? I was afraid to propose to you. The truth is, since you have officially inquired, do you know it's you I've been looking at? <laughs> That is how it will. And then it will go ahead. So this is an avenue. avenue. Go to that one. Make sure your gift go to that one in your mind. Are you hearing me? And if you say no, nothing wrong. You say, when one door is closed, seven are open. So seven other guests will be waiting for you. So don't feel bad that she told you no. And don't, please also be in spirit now. Because you may be sure that the man you are looking down on may be the next governor. Maybe one young boy say this one <laughs> Valentine Day now this one this lele now one come came in Sunday. You know when when I was in Bible school life story and I told a young lady I said Mary used to laugh. You know, where did you get where you go, marry you? Where did you at the Bible school? She yeah. should look me from up, look me down. You know, where did you get where? I said, true. <laughs> <laughs> but but you just imagine where I am now. And my wife saw me through window and said, God, this is the kind of man I want to marry. Depends on how you are able to un unfold what God has in the vessel. So don't look at the container, look at the content. There's something inside everyone. I'm going to pray from my heart for everyone. Those who are married and those who are looking for marriage and those who are not even ready for marriage. It's a day where God demonstrated, where we taught about love. Is that through? And love is a person. Take your song and let me pray so we can close. The giving of gift is just the last day. That one does not need. We we'll close service and then you can do that. Is that through? And then go and go home. Yes, take one song and let me pray for everyone. Take song now. Don't you have song? Ah. I bet love, love is what? Don't sing. <laughs> is it, uh, who sang it? <laughs> well, well, love is patient. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. But this is love is patient? No. Today we're not there for patience, so. Love is patience. No. Do you say love is patience? Love is what? Love is patience. No, what for today? Today is automatic. Listen, you know me, I'm a very scriptural person. Love is what? Is patient, yes, maybe for another day, but for today, we're going to leave that one. We're not there for patience here. Patience means, you know, it will not happen today. It has to be postponed. No, to, the kind of prayer I want to pray for is for God to visit you now. Uh, not a love is... I'm going to sing another song. Eh? It's a good song. It's not a bad song. But love is... I don't want the one of patience today. I want the one God will answer you. Uh, Ibo call it Ozubo Ozubo. <laughs> All right, please sing another one for that. To keep your lovely face. Yes, ever before my eyes. Ever before my, my eyes. This is my prayer. This is my prayer. 
Make it my strong desire that in my secret heart no other love competes. No other love competes. No rival throne survives, and I serve only you. Oh, oh how marvelous! You know why God is so humorous? As we're singing this song, he said, David, you will not do your service like before. You know, I was wanted to hear from God concerning, if you watch, we have not started the business and the youth service. Now he just said to me, not like before, we won't do it every Sunday. We'll do it once in a month. <laughs> it will be a time out with Jesus. So every month we'll gather like this. It will not be conventional service. It will be very unconventional. We are relaxed in God's presence. It may not necessarily take this time of long time, but to be so feel that when you come, you enjoy that Sunday. And you go back, short message, loaded, power-packed, varieties. The business will also be that way. It will no longer be every Sunday to no no. If we do business this week, we do the youth program next week. So that it will gather momentum. It's not going to be just two services Sunday. No. This week, business. The next one, youth. In God's presence. God's love for. Lift your hands to heaven. I'm going to bless you from my heart. The love of God is a giving love. And I give these words of a father over your life. Everyone at the reach of my voice globally. You see, if I gave you Jesus, why would I not with him freely give you all things? Whatever you desire on this day. My children went to Chicago. I have two daughters in Chicago. And they are hearing me. I have children all over the world in the name of Jesus. I speak over your lives and destiny. And I decree all sons and daughters globally that this day, whatever is your heart desire, it is granted in the name of Jesus. <laughs> On this day from the depth of my heart, God sees me with love. If there be anything you have asked that has been delayed for years. Is there anything you want God to do for you? From a heart of love, I speak in the name of Jesus. No one that is a child that will not be greater than whatever I've done. I decree over your lives, your resource will shake the world. 
do greater things in the name of Jesus. Whatever blessing that God has ordained, I declare your own package release now. He opened his hands and satisfied every living thing. In the name of Jesus, his hand is open with love. Receive your portion in the name of Jesus. All who were jobless, I decree miracle open doors. Everyone desiring to marry, no more delay in your life. Both male and female in the name of Jesus. Just like you open your hands to give to others. Throughout the year 2021, you will never lack gifts. I may not be able to pronounce all in my heart. But God sees my heart in the name of Jesus. Whatever a father will pronounce on a child as blessing. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus' name. That thing that wants to kill you will be destroyed. That evil that wants to terminate you will be shattered. That husband do you will look for you right now. That your wife you desire will come right now. Joblessness has ended. Stagnation is broken. Failure has stopped. Shame and reproach is removed. Sickness is shattered. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. By the leading of the Holy Ghost, lift your hands. If there be any cause on your life spoken on you by any of any evil man, I break that cause in the name of Jesus. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. In the place of that curse, I pronounce you blessed. Before this year is over, in the name of Jesus, that your greatest heart desire is done. Whatever testimony I have shared, in three months, your heavens will open. You will stand to share greater testimonies. And so shall it be. In Jesus. Now appropriate those words to yourself by speaking. These words will not fail. They will come to pass. In my life. They will not fail. They will come to pass. They will come to pass. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ.